obviously a few of these guys kicking around. Another gorgeous specimen. Alright, let's pop him back. Hey, good day to the world. It's the middle of the night, but he's out running around. I think he's young. <laughs> You're too cute. What a noise. What's the plans tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> sorry, buddy. He's really angry at me. Oh, I don't blame you. Hello, YouTube. It's another one of these videos. Eh? Let's use let's use their finger. So, anyways, it's you know about well. Let's get a different one. Unless you're gonna try and go for that one. You might have trouble. She shouldn't have grabbed it by the finger, but anyways. So, let's start off with trying to feed her. Come on, we know you want it. There you go. Anyways, this creature currently eating is Sif, the Australian Barking Gecko. I've had her for a while now, and we're gonna make a video on care. That's a dead plant that I need to remove, but I'm letting it decay. Anyways, this is her tank. It's an 18 by 18 by 12. This is the gecko. She's currently hungry. It's about 1 a.m. where I am, and I'm not feeling it. But since I have no concept of time, I've decided to make a video at this time. And you know what? You know what? It's not normally bright in the room, but I turn on the lights. Uh, normally she has lights on during the day. Not normally. Is that normally? What's normal? The day or the night? Anyways. Surprise intro from Kaya. But anyways, today we're going to talk about these geckos. This is a gecko. Scientific name. Under, Underwoodosaurus Meli. Yeah, un, Underwoodosaurus. Isn't that a cool name? They're related to to knob-tailed geckos, but you know, not in the same like Nephruus genus or whatever. They're in their own little genus. Only one other gecko's in their genus, if I remember correctly, and it's similar to these guys. But you know, they're called Australian bark geckos because they usually bark. She doesn't. Well, in bark mostly scream, but she doesn't. She used to. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see an old video of her screaming. And she's pretty big now. These guys, the females are bigger than males usually. They can get from like. Can I do math? Yeah, it's like four to six inches is how big they can get from like head to tail. She's a pretty big girl, honestly. Now, for the rundown of, first I'm gonna start off with what you feed. You should probably feed them, well, the insects I feed, for example, are crickets, doobie roaches. They can eat mealworms. I would not recommend mealworms. Occasionally, I she would eat um, wax worms, so they can eat those like treats. Same for small hornworms as treats, same for small silkworms as treats, and same for small butterworms, calciums, etc. Well, calciums you can feel, but she's never been a fan of them, so I don't really give, none of my geckos are a fan of those, so I don't really give them very often. Now, as for care, I she has a warm hide right here. Right here, you see. That's at about 85 degrees with a heat pad. You can use a ceramic heat emitter if you want. I've seen her basking back when I used one. So... You can see her slinking around back there. So yeah, 
Um, as an adult, I feed her twice a week and she does fine. You can feed probably more often because I gave her like two big feedings a week. You could probably do multiple smaller feedings if you want or, or something. Make sure they're, when, once they're adults, you can feed them about two to three times a week. They're also not eyelid geckos, another thing. Instead, they lick their eyes like other geckos, which I also think is pretty cool. They're just cool geckos in general. I, I really recommend them if, you, if, you're ever, if you're getting into geckos and you want one that's like unique but has a care of a leopard gecko, that's honestly what she is. She's such an iconic little gecko. I just love her. Anyways, that's the rundown of my gecko. Also, from what I from what I've experienced, they are not very prone to stuck toe shed like leopard geckos are. So that's a plus. They aren't all weird like that. Oh, look at her. She's so alien when walking. You're so cool. So you can see her little shed paws. I have to pull those out. But yeah, such a cool little gecko. It's. Yeah, and they all have like unique patterns on their backs. Honestly, oh. But yeah, I appreciate my geckos, and um, yeah, this is the basic care of an underwoody source milli. Oh, amazing, amazing gecko. Anyways, my 1:30 a.m. video is done. I will be uploading this around this time, which is also pretty cool. If I touch you, what happens? What happens? So say I. Hold it right there. And then I...